And this is the Universal Wrestling Podcast. Inside the ring. Outside the ring. It's all here. We're talking about the greatest sport of all, professional wrestling. Come on. And now, here's Nick and Keith. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the Universal Wrestling Podcast. My name is Nick. His name is Keith. Welcome back. Keith, what's up, brother? How you doing? Oh, I got to spit on that thing. <clears throat> doing all right, man. How you doing? Yeah, it's the new thing going around. I thought I would incorporate it. it. It's funny. Supposedly, she it got is. fired. She did not get fired. She's living and doing well. She's selling merch. So, hop to it of that, you know? I did. I, I was so confused by that. My my wife asked me about it out of nowhere. Yeah. I was like, I don't know. She's like, is that like a thing for you? I was like, <laughs> I don't know. Sounds kind of gross. Yeah. I don't want a girl like, oh, like I don't want a loogie yeah. on there. Like, but no, I guess no, no. I don't know. Yeah, it's anyway. funny. I mean, it's it's <laughs> it's part of everything. It's pop culture right now. So you see it on you know oh, yeah. TikTok every day. TikTok, uh, YouTube. Oh, Bryce! Everything. Bryce pulled it the other night the, with the fills. Yeah. Bryce got on. Oh, he did yes, double, yes. I think it was, and he did the <laughs> hilarious. Yeah, Rogan, Rogan, disgusted. So it's a I don't know. It's funny. Um, yeah. what are we here for? We saw this clip online yesterday. Um, pardon my take. I don't know too much, but I know it's part of my take. I know it's Big Cat. I know it's part of Barstool. And they did the Mount Rushmore of pizza toppings. And that got us thinking here, right here on the UW pod. Right. Why not incorporate that, but make it, you know, part of wrestling. So tonight, today, we're going to do Mount Rushmore of pro wrestling matches. Now, here it is. Me and Keith have not talked about this. We just said mm-hmm. that's two match types. So he could pick mine. I could pick his. But Keith. I think you should go first. Let's hear it. What is your number one match type? And we got what? Four or five? What's Mount Rushmore? Four? No, five. Four. 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 Right? Back in, yeah. <laughs> let's see. Justin. Yeah. I'm I pretty know. sure it's four. Because I think it's like on. it's like two kind of out, and then Teddy's like tucked back, and then it's one more on the side. Let's see. I'll, uh, yes, four. Okay. Four. All right, so. Yeah. You got number one, brother. Match types. Let's hear it. <clears throat> so I was like, like you said, we wouldn't really talk about this at all. I was kind of like massaging this around all day. Like match types, is it just like the general stipulation or can I be like the serious one? But like at all, it's all the yeah. same kind of stuff. I mean, you know, I say it every year when it comes Don't up. I'm, it. I'm going, pick one, round one. It's the Royal <laughs> Rumble, man. I know it. I it's know the Royal it. Rumble. I mean, anyone who's, not, anyone who's not putting that on their Rushmore of wrestling is like, you're wrong uh, you know yep. <clears throat> everyone's entitled to their own opinion don't be a dick about anyone's opinion but like if you don't like the royal rumble there's something fucking wrong with you so yeah <clears throat> it's great uh, yeah. i i was even gonna like try to like kind of expand this into just being like straight up battle royal but like it's really it's got to be the rumble i like a battle royal but it's not as it's not as good yeah. without the the intervals and the you know they're coming down one at a time and stuff um Cause like I had the thought like oh just a battle royal but then I was like thinking about like when AEW does like the casino battle royals and I'm not oh, as yeah. into those it's it's the rumble for me so, yeah, yeah yeah rumble is it's just like the pepperoni you know of toppings it's exactly the, the the funnest match to watch and it just mm-hmm. it's everything it's everything you want so that's a good one I knew that was going to be on your list I didn't even put it on mine I'm gonna <laughs> go with a, I'm gonna go with a simple one here a triple threat. I love it for Solid. so many different reasons. A, because it's just he adds that he had that one male or female superstar to the the matchup. Um, no DQ, so anything can happen. You can use weapons. You can go out and you know throw the the opponent through the table. I mean, there's just so many different options you can do with the uh, triple threat. And it's just if you think about like triple threats, I mean, yes, they're there are some bad ones, but if you think about the good ones, you're thinking about Ben Wilds, you're thinking about the Triple H's, mm-hmm. you're thinking about HBKs and Cena's, and there's so many big moments. And again, with a uh, Triple Threat, there's so many different opportunities you can yeah. take that. You can take that storyline. You can take that match. So my number one is a Triple Threat. What it's a good call. A, a Triple Threat. It's a good call because a Triple Threat is one of those ones that's like when there's a good Triple Threat, it's a it's a really good Triple Threat, and then. Like, yeah. it's just, it's so dependent on the dudes that are in it. So, like you said, like, you think of, like, those bigger names and stuff. Like, for sure, we could sit here and probably rattle off five or six, like, pretty terrible triple threats that happen. Because yeah. they, they can get, like, kind of formulaic where it's just like, oh, everyone's here. Kick this person and really hurt them out of the ring. So, it's really just, like, a singles match for a while. And then someone else comes in and basically yeah. tags somebody out. And 
you know, but there's there's some good ones that work really well. Yeah. And so it's, it's a good that's a good call. Let's hear it. Like what do you got for number two? I'm going I'm going number two. This isn't all gonna be WWE related, probably, but uh it's it's still it's here, so I gotta do it, man. It's hell in a cell. I mean, yeah. it's way you know, it's what got it's like a big reason why I'm a wrestling fan because friggin' yeah. Went off, went flying off the top of one. Um, I know everyone usually tries to point out, like, oh, the Michaels Taker one is better, and like, yeah, maybe it is, but like, it, it maybe it isn't. It, it not maybe it is in terms of like maybe work rate and all that kind of stuff and everything, but in terms of like, yeah, you know, spectacle, dude. It's <clears throat> he gets thrown off the top of the ring. <clears throat> Taker climbs up there twice with a broken foot. Uh, you know, he gets thrown off the top of it. Foley gets put through the top of it falls into the ring. There's a tooth in his friggin' nose as he's trying to stick it. That's like my favorite part about it that nobody talks about enough. Like that shot when he's like sitting there looking smiling and you just see the tooth in his nose. Everyone's like, Oh man, there's a tooth in his nose. But like, yeah, in his book, he talks about how he had a hole in his chin and he was, that was, he was that's what he was trying to do. That's why his face was like that. Cause he's trying to show his tongue through the hole in his lip in his chin. And he's like, but I have too much hair. You couldn't see it. And just yeah. like, oh my God, like just, it's a great match. Again, just when you talk about with triple threats, like, yeah, you know, maybe, maybe Fiend and Rollins where it's a hell in a cell that ended in a DQ was like really dumb. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was bad ones, but <clears throat> you know, it's another one where like the majority of them you think about are just like, ah, oh, that's a really good match. It's a really good yeah. match. Yeah. Okay. It's just, yeah. you know, it's iconic. Yep. There's a lot there and it's, you know. Your boy McFoley, it's it, it made McFoley <clears throat> to, you know, what he is today. Sure. Yes, he is a hardcore living legend before that, but that put him on the map. All the WWE fans knew who he was after that. Um, it makes people. And, you know, like you said, it's it's it has its, you know, negatives and positives, but most of all it's positive. You can think of, you know, Triple H, HBK, Taker at Mania. You think of what you said. What about uh, what was it, Bailey and Banks or Banks in Charlotte? That was one of the best. Oh matches. yeah, t- oh yeah. dude, the the the, the oh. tag team, the tag team yeah. I want to sell with the Usos and it was the Usos in the New Day, and then maybe there was a third team that I'm thinking of. I don't remember now, but yeah. at least with those two, that was when they friggin' they trapped Jay in the corner with the yes. kendo sticks. They put it, you know, and then yes. they just started beating on him. Like yeah, there's just there's there's stuff. Everybody. Literally the only bad one that I can think of, and I'm sure someone will roast me about it elsewhere that I'm wrong, but like the only bad one I can think of was Seth and the Fiend because of the hammer and all yeah. that. Like that got weird there, but like, you know, dang man, there's just there's so many good ones. <laughs> like you're yeah. hard pressed to find one that you're just like, ah, this isn't very good. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I'm with you on that. Um let's What's your next one? Let's yeah. What do you got? One. Um Iron Man match. I don't think we see Ooh, a lot of it. one of mine. Oh uh, yes, finally. So one. Dang. I knew, I All right, that's, you know, that's cool. That's cool. I wasn't gonna pick the Rumble, and I wasn't gonna pick Hell in a Cell just because I could connect the dots with you and Mick Foley. <laughs> and again, you love your Rumble. Um, Iron Man match. I mean, yes, it is. It can again positive and negatives, but the most recent one, obviously DB and uh, um, MJF, and that was something that we haven't seen in a long time and that pretty much I don't want to say put MJ off on the mark but you knew after that it's like okay this guy can go it doesn't matter who it is he can go um obviously you know Brett's Shawn Michaels I mean mm-hmm. there's so many Iron Man matches that you can go to even Iron Woman matches I know mm-hmm. they've done that recently um it's just a match where I think this is why I like it so much it's because I like that type of wrestler. I like that that technical kind of guy. And usually those types of guys and gals are in that kind of match. And it's an hour long. So, like, it's not just, yeah. you know, a quick pin and it's over. It's, you know, it's a storyline. And they have to tell yeah. a storyline. And I always say that storylines in, in a wrestling match or, you know, the whole entire storyline of the feud. I love when that happens. And with this yeah. match, it's just there's so much you can do. I mean, just in – just in general, I mean, when you think of some of the best, you think of, you know, the Bretts, you think of the Rocks, not great, but uh, match. No, for, dude, no, for sure. That's always, you know, yeah. for, for me. Like, I know everyone always talks like Sean and Brett, like the, the first, that's like the first like real one everybody ever talks about is, you know, they, yeah. the sudden death one and everything. And like, 
I'll be I'll be honest. Like, I, I love an Iron Man match. This is a great pick. You stood, like I said, you stole one of these from me, so that's cool. But like <clears throat> that, the Brett and Sean like original ones. Hey, it's not even really that great. It's kind of yeah. boring in spots with the zero zero all the way through. But like yeah. uh, Triple H and The Rock at what was that Backlash? I think Backlash oh, one or oh, two. Oh, no. That happened at a Backlash. That was a really good one. Um, yeah. <clears throat> just like. You know, creative stuff one. I'm pretty sure there was one. I th- I'm pretty sure Lesnar and Angle had at least one on like SmackDown, but they yeah. might have had another one too. Where I might be thinking it was in that one, where like just in terms of like creativity and stuff you can do with it, where like yeah. Lesnar purposely loses a fall. He starts beating the hell out of Angle with the chair and gets DQ'd, so he loses yeah. a fall. But it's just like, oh well, he's freaking Brock Lesnar. He just beat the crap out of him with weaponry. So yeah, he he loses a fall to his EQ, but he's about to get a pin right here. And then yeah. probably a second one because he still just beat the hell out of him and he's Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Like he can, he's affording that one that he's going to lose because he knows he's going to get it right back and it doesn't even matter. And it's like, ah, oh, that's yeah. genius. Like I hadn't seen that up to that point. Like, yeah. Yeah. Good, yeah, good there's, stuff there. there. There's two that I wrote down. And again, these are types of wrestlers that I like. Uh, Benoit and angle it was uh backlash 2001 right and then benoit and triple h raw 04 um if you don't if you've never seen those two matches go back and watch it it's really good and the one you said was angle and lesnar smackdown 2003 so it's that i don't know it's just the even the length of the match too i think is something different you know we're so used to quick paced you know just in general just pop culture is changing and you know you got the 30 second videos and when you we're losing just we're losing our attention span losing our attention span a little bit yeah when you calm it down and drag it on drag it out it's uh it's good so i got triple threat iron man match you got rumble hell in the cell and yep. let's hear it so this one this one's tough this is where i'm getting into like my my kind of mix arounds here i got my, my whole bracket out of things in case things were getting stolen um I'm gonna go. Do it. Yeah, I mean, it's why not? And then we'll figure out the last one there. I, we'll talk about like honorable mentions and stuff out there anyway. But uh, I'm gonna go. I'm going war games. War games slash blood and guts. They're kind of yeah. kind of in that same category. Um, more so for like what they used to be. Don't get me wrong. There are some newer modern war games matches that have been awesome. Um, yeah. Undisputed Era versus uh, what was that team? It was like oh yeah, Riddle. Uh, no, um, I know Pete Dunn was part of it, and Shit. I, don't, I don't remember the setup now. But the Undisputed Era had two. He, they they were in Morgan's matches two years in a row. Those were awesome. Um, the Bloodline one from what was that two two was that last year? I could have been last year. Yeah, it was it last year with Sammy. It was the Bloodline and Sammy uh, with against KO and Sheamus and that whole like ragtag assortment. That was awesome from a storytelling standpoint. Um, yeah, Blood and Guts. They've been all right. They've been all right. Uh, you know, the first one with the crash pad and all was a little bit whatever, but understandable and whatnot. But anyway, my my, my point is there's there's some good newer ones, but like the original one, they're just. They're just like wars, man. Like they're the kind of things that like when, you know, not that I agree with them like a lot in any way, shape or form, but like when Cornette talks about how like, oh, well, wrestling used to be wrestling and now it's flippy dippy, blah, 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 whatever. And, you know, his old man nonsense and stuff. Those older war games matches are the kind of things where I'm just like, ah, damn, like this, this is what he means. Because like those war games matches are just like, some of them are just like hard to watch. Like, you know, it's wrestling, you know, it's like, yeah worked in whatever that way but it's just like you think about how like you know working then was just like oh just gonna just just slice the crap out of my forehead and stuff constantly and there's there's just matches where like they end like the winners are just covered absolutely covered in blood uh like they're just it's just brutal and it's got such a history and i mean you know we're gonna I, i i it's gonna happen again this year where we're gonna get a good gentleman. We all know how this ends. War games with yeah. William Regal. That's gonna be fantastic. Like yeah. it's just awesome. There are it's an awesome concept. The closed in cage, double rings, awesome. Yeah. 
Yeah, and there's so many you can look back on again about positive and negative, but yeah, leaning towards the positive. It's just a special match because you just don't know. I mean, you think of you know McAfee, you think of Ricochet and NXT, you think of those types of um, athletes that just do crazy things. Adam Cole and his gang, like you said, like that really helped that storyline. And of course, you go back and you know the WCW days. You talk about AEW. There is just. Yeah. It's just something about that match. It's it's different than, you know, it's it's contained like a chamber. It's contained like Hell in a Cell, but there's two rings, and it's just I don't know. That I think that is like the cherry on top. It's just different, you know. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Big fan. Yeah, buddy. Let me get to What's my your third. third yeah, what do you got? Is, uh, this is out of the out of the box, out of left field, uh, but a good old fashioned. I don't know if we've seen it in a in a while, but a gauntlet match. Oh. I love Oh, there's another one on mine, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah I hear you. Yeah, so basically a gauntlet match, if you've never um, seen one. I mean, I don't remember the last time we've seen one, but guy or girl starts, and it's kind of like the rumble, but instead of you know eliminating your opponent over the rope, you pin them or you submit them or something along those lines, and it's just – it's just a, another match where you can tell a story where this guy's just like, you know, he's been in there forever and ever and he's, you know, pinning and pinning and he's just, you know, he's thriving. So, again, I lean towards some uh, matches like that where it, they can tell a story. And, it's, uh, and I, you know, I think something about eliminating, Keith, I think like the Rumble, that's why a lot of people like that because – you're eliminating one and then another guy comes out or another girl co- gal comes out and you're just surprised. And with that, exactly. with the gauntlet match, it's similar to that where it's just, you don't know what's going to happen. And it's a, it's a great story to tell. So um, what are you doing? You're looking up the most recent one. Yeah. I'm trying to find the gauntlet matches. Cause I was looking it up too. I, I keep, I, I'm in my mind. I'm saying it was um, friggin' like that random episode of raw. It was the one that Rollins did it. Looks like May 12th, 2024, <clears throat> Sammy runs a gauntlet. All right, you're quicker than I am. Sounds good to yeah. me. I'll let it happen. That sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they're just, you know, you, you, no, you, you, you nailed it all. It's exactly what it is. It's like the best, uh, it's the best of both worlds between like a rumble and a, a rumble and a singles match where it's, yeah. you just, you're just watching. It's, you know, it's, it's a rumble. It's a singles match. It's an Iron Man match. Like all just like rolled into one where it's just, you know, yeah. there's, there's a lot of room for like brutality with stuff. Um, you know, there's a lot of cool, like story to tell and stuff with it too. Thinking about the, um, the one with, uh, the one that got Kofi mania into Kofi mania. Oh, yes. When, yeah. you know, they're running the gauntlet in the last, like he's all, he, he makes it. It's the last one. And then it's the Usos. Yeah. And he's just, they come out and they're just like, do your thing, man, and just hop out and leave. And like, that's it. They take, they take the loss and let Kofi go on. Like, it's awesome. It's such a cool, it's just a really cool, it's one of those like really unique like concepts that you don't really think about yeah. it. We don't see it a whole lot, but when you see one, you're just like, ah, oh, this is, this yeah, is cool. Do it. Yeah. Especially when you get, when you get good, you know, I, I can't think of one off the top of my head that's been like a bad one, but like, no, nah, I'm a big fan of the Gauntlet match. That was a Gauntlet yeah. match and, one that I'm I'm not it's, I was gonna put it on my list but it's it's not gonna stay with it but that and like Falls Count Anywhere were always the ones I would always play on like SmackDown and the video games and stuff they were the most fun yeah yeah for sure I love it Keith what do you got give me number four rounding it all out here so we got got like kind of gimmicky ones we got the Hell in the Cell we got a Royal Rumble we got a War Games they're all gimmicks they're all like matches that way but. You know, everybody always hears me talk to about like just like in the real kind of fight feel of everything and whatnot. So I'm going to go. This one's a little bit out of left field and probably going to get some hate because there's a lot of other good matches we haven't talked about. But I'm going to go with uh, the old the old Ring of Honor Pure Rules match. So for that one, if you're not of the informed kind with it, a Pure Rules match is you have to shake hands before and after. And the Pure Rules are basically it's just like pinfall, submission, tap out, whatever. Um but they only get you only get three rope breaks throughout the whole thing. So if you use the rope break three times, the fourth one just doesn't matter. Um, yeah. <clears throat> they they did one on AEW. I want to say like a shortly after they like acquired Ring of Honor before Ring of Honor was like its own show again. Yeah, they did one, and I'm struggling to think of who it was. I want to say it was uh, Jonathan Gresham and Wheeler, maybe. 
Yeah. Maybe. I want to say it was those two. Someone will correct me that we're wrong. We're the, we're the worst. We don't know stuff. Eddie. Oh, we don't know God, anything. Yeah. We need Justin. <laughs> but Seriously. I want to say, I want to say it was Wheeler and, um, and Jonathan Gresham. And it's just, it's just a cool like match. It's another one of those that like, <clears throat> it yeah. makes it feel more like serious. Like it's not like you're not seeing, you know, off the ropes and like any of those kind of things, but like most of those, especially in like early old school, like ring of honor, it was like, that was the whole point of it is like, you would see, you know, more of your, not him, but like more of your like Chris Benoit kind of types that were like, you know, yeah. more grapple, like submission kind of based stuff. Da- to Brian Danielson, you know, like original yeah. Brian Danielson and stuff like back in the day doing those where it's just like, you know, that's the where I have till five thing and all of that comes into play. And just like, it's just like a cool thing, like to see it where it is. it's a wrestling match, but it's not just like your normal one bell rings, whatever. Like there's this little something extra in there. And like the couple of them, you will see where like they use the three rope breaks and they go for the fourth. And then they're just like, Oh, oh what am I going to do now? And it's like, yeah, it sucks you right in. Yeah. It's a good one. I like that. Yeah, it is. It is. Because it's just, again, that old-fashioned, you know, shake hands, before and after. The whole rope break thing is really, really interesting. I got to go That's, watch yeah. I got to go watch a match. I guess I could just YouTube it, right? Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Or you can, if you if you buy Honor Club, I think Honor Club is like 10 bucks. You can watch everything from Ring of Honor. I haven't pulled the trigger on that yet, but I keep yeah. meaning to. Yep. All right, Tony. All right, anyway, buddy. what's your one? What is it? What's your fourth? Let's do it. Drum roll. I gotta do it. Bra and panties, baby. <laughs> no, no. Dang. I, it, it's one or the other. It's 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 either money in the bank or just a traditional Survivor Series match. So I'm gonna go with um, Survivor Series just because I have more memories with that one. Um, and you know, money All in right. the bank All is right. kind of a throw in there. I mean, it's just you know, one of those that everybody watches and everybody loves. But with the Survivor Series match back in, I don't want to say back in the day, but like five or six years ago when it was taken serious, it was just something special. Again, I'm more story-based, so the, the lead-up mm-hmm. was Raw versus SmackDown or good guys versus bad guys or, you know, something along those lines. And every time that um, they they had the uh, the match, it just seemed like the good guys – couldn't win you know and i think that's mm-hmm. again why i love it so much just because it's just the anticipation of who's getting eliminated and this is just all this is another thing too it's just kind of like the rumble it's all pre-planned it's all predetermined they sit right. down and they think really hard about it and i mean just thinking about it one of my favorite ones is you know the ziggler you know ziggler pinning i think four of the five guys and winning for was it team cena or something along those yeah lines. right beating the authority yeah, yeah authority yes yes one of my favorites. It's just, I don't know. And then yeah, if you think about it, it's like, it's a tradition. It's Thanksgiving. It's Survivor Series. It was one of the big four. I don't know if it's really considered one of the big four now, but um, just something about it. It just, that's wrestling. When I think of like pro wrestling, I think of, you know, Survivor Series. I think of, you know, the four big pay-per-views and that was included. Um, what are your thoughts there? I love it. <clears throat> it's a great pick. I mean, for as much as, you know, on my Mount Rushmore itself, like as much as I love war games and all, like it is, <clears throat> I feel like them using war games at Survivor Series is like them trying to bring Survivor Series back to that big four feel. True. But yeah. in that same vein, it's like because they're doing that, you don't really get the regular kind of Survivor Series match anymore. Um, yeah. And I'm sure there's some people that think that's like a good thing because, you know, they're, what back in the day, it was, it was a little much. I don't remember which one it is, but one of the early Survivor Series pay-per-views is literally, I'm pretty sure every match is, is a Survivor Series match. It's, they're all mm. five five on five elimination ones or whatever, yep. which is like, it's kind of cool. It's a cool concept if you have like the talent roster for it, but like some of those matches are like Earthquake and <laughs> like, you know, Akeem and just like yeah. this random assortment of people. You're just like, oh, all right, well. I don't know why I had to watch this one, but okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's uh, it's a really cool, it, it's another one that's, it's just like a unique kind of like concept because it's like an elimination kind of yeah. match. Like you can, you know, it can, it can, it can, it can very quickly become a handicap match. Like it's just yeah. sort of one on one, whatever. And then, you know, you can find yourself, you know, we didn't all love the result, but you can find yourself in a Cena alone against, you know, five, four or five members or whatever it was, the Nexus and have to take them all on and, 
go for nothing against them. Like, you know, yeah, it's a cool, it's a cool concept. I like that's, that's a good call. Yeah. Team Cena was very good call versus uh, team authority was just something special. Yep. Cause like you, you kind of knew it was going to happen, but you didn't think it was going to happen. I got another yeah. one too. Team raw versus team SmackDown 2016. That was another good one. Um, yeah. It's just, again, like Americana, like, you know, apple pie and baseball. With wrestling, it's Thanksgiving and Survivor Series, you know? So exactly. I always put those two, two together. Keith, what do you got before we end the episode here? I'm just going to rattle off a few. Yes, um, yeah. I was going to say Hardcore Battle Royale, but that happens once in a blue moon. I think the last time yeah. that happened was, um, I don't know, years ago. Um, First Blood, I really like. Fight Pit was cool if they do it right. I, I, had, fight pit. I had Fight Pit on mine yeah. as well. I quits up there too, and I don't know how many times they've done this, but I do remember Benoit versus Booker, the best of seven. I don't. That's the seven that. series. I think you know, the last, last one, one I can. Seamus and, Sheamus and Cesaro, Cesaro, which yeah. led to the bar, yeah, which that was yeah. cool too. The but yeah, they don't room. they don't do those all that often. No. Uh, yeah, I mean? had uh, I had uh, the chamber elimination chamber. Yeah. Uh, fight pit, like you said, tornado tag match. I like I like a good tornado oh, tag match when they yeah. do them well. Yeah. Uh, falls kind of anywhere, like I mentioned before. Um, uh, super, super honorable mention. I, I had it on my list. I had it actually in as like one of my main options. And I was like, nah, it's a little too early for this one. Uh, the Iron Survivor in NXT. I really like mm-hmm. that one. I think it's a cool concept. I, the only reason I didn't put it on is because I was like, so there's only been like two of them. It needs like, it's got to happen a couple more times and make sure they're always like special and like looking good. Cause I don't know if the yeah. first two were just kind of, or the first four, I guess, were just like, flukes because it was like really good competitors in it so yeah. you know we do we fast forward in a couple of years we do this again maybe iron survivor will be on mine um and then another real sleeper pick one like the pure rules match was um the monsters ball match in tna, oh, TNA. i yeah. now i'm not gonna lie the biggest reason i didn't really bring it up is because like i don't i couldn't give you the real details of like a single one of them I can't, i'm not gonna sit here and lie yeah. and say like oh there's this match blah, blah, blah. it's just a really awesome concept of like the whole just like you're locked off no food or water for 24 hours and then come out and just be an animal yeah it's like yeah that's that's like really cool i mean i yeah it, it requires some suspension of disbelief with like wrestling and all and everything yeah. but like yeah. no that it was really i think that one but yeah yeah, I think if there's any other ones, I was thinking about other companies. Of course, TNA, you got to go Ultimate X match. I think true, that's something. true yeah. reverse battle royal. Mm-hmm. Re- yes, totally, I, I totally looked that up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so bad. yeah. just uh, you know what it is. It's just the spectacle. You know, the I yeah. matches, the first blood, like the gauntlet matches. It's just unexpected, and I think that's why you know it's um you know something that uh we don't see often but when it's done right it's yeah. uh you know part of a mountain rushmore and that's why we're talking about it keith give the people what they want how can they find you you already know i'm on x and tiktok at keith of the ring and i'm on instagram at underscore keith of the ring yes sir you can find us right here on the uw pod that is uw podcast at um or on instagram and the uw pod on x you can find us right here on youtube at the uw pod uh fancy website uwpod.com See you next time right here on the UW Pod. Peace.